Okay, so in today's math lesson, it's all about writing division expressions. So in our first chart here, we have uh, four main areas for talking about uh, equivalent expressions with regard to division. So here's our standard form. Here's our standard expression here written as uh, 15 divided by 3. And what we learned today is first we're going to use the word form. So we're going to write, let's say, so 15 divided by 3. And we're understanding that that 15 is our dividend, all right? And that 3 is our divisor. Now that needs to translate over here. Our 15 is our dividend and our 3 is our divisor. But that may also be written as a fraction. So all these guys are equivalent to one another as a fraction. And as a fraction, our dividend needs to be on top, right? our dividend. And our divisor, okay, turns into our denominator, okay? So our dividend is our numerator, and our divisor is our denominator. So the 15 goes up here, and the 3 goes over here, okay? And that makes sense, too, because 15 thirds equals 5 whole, and 15 divided by 3 equals 5, and 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So everything is equivalent to one another, okay? Things get a little more interesting when we get into more complex expressions. For example, let's see if I can pop a couple of expressions out here. Let's see. Let's take an example. These again, examples over here. So in our problem set, we have some interesting ones. Let's go over here to this guy. Okay, so we have M. M, once again, is our dividend. So M is our dividend. So that comes first. And B, our denominator, is our divisor, so that comes second over here. Now, we're going to put group these together. These have to happen together, so we're going to put parentheses. And so our M, once again, is our uh, dividend, and the B minus 33 is our divisor. Now, for the word form, it gets a little interesting. I'm going to introduce a word, the word quantity. And the word quantity, here we go. Is a special word because what that what happens is that means an amount. We're going to actually force something to happen right away. And by using the quantity of, we're actually forcing something that has to happen and, and it's immediate, it's an immediate action. It has to happen right away. So in word form, we're going to start with my m and I'm going to divide that. So m divided by now for that b and that minus 33 or 33 from b. Um, I need to make sure they go together, so I'm going to use the word quantity. So watch this. So m divided by the quantity of the quantity of b minus 33. And once again, that, that quantity word is a special word. It forces uh, what comes after it to happen uh, together. So that b minus 33 must stick together, and that b minus 33 is going to be divided from um, from M, okay? And something very similar as far as the, the one below it is concerned. Okay. Here we're taking that 2 and we're dividing it by the Y plus the 13. Okay, so I'm taking again the 2 and I'm dividing it by Y plus 13. These two have to go together. Okay. Oh, actually, sorry. I had that backwards. Yikes. So my y plus my 13 divided by my 2. So my y plus my 13. There it is. Now I guess I could put those parentheses in there as well. That's fine. So my y plus 13 divided by 2. Now here's that quantity piece of this. So the quantity of, I need that y and the 13 to go together. So the quantity of y plus 13 and now I can divide that, divided by that 2. Okay? And that's how it works. All right, so once again, so my dividend is here. That's my A. My B is here. My dividend is here. Okay, my divisor is here. My dividend is here. And my divisor is there. Little division symbol. Okay? Little division symbol there. All right, and that's how it works. Okay, folks, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.